very poor production value. Look at this. It's like I haven't done this before, but my excuse is going to be all of my gear, parts and pieces, paraphernalia, if you will, for videoing are spread out. So it is day one of no duck season. And guess what? It's not heavy, but it's snowing. So except for what was it? Christmas Eve at about nine degrees. We really had no winter this year. So I don't know. Um, just is what it is. It's been a good 60 days. Uh, see if I can make the production value better. It's been a good 60 days. Hey, first off, I got to say, Karen gets on me for, for my dress and dress code. But this, this is an original way back in the day. This is an original pit boss waterfowl hooded sweatshirt. So it's even got the old squall flying up the arm. But she will get on me when she sees this. But I have been very neglect in doing any video this year. No, I'm not. Neglect in posting because I've got plenty of footage. Um, kind of got myself caught up in doing reels this year. Simple and easy, easy and simple as I like to say. Yes, I need to put my seatbelt on. But uh, simple and easy, easy and simple. Just got done caught up done caught up in what kind of language is that what kind of english is that i got caught up in doing reels so um instagram if you follow me on instagram thank you very much man the last couple weeks it has blown up I had a couple days where i was over 1500 new followers a day that's crazy for me some old fat white guy that does not look good in a bikini so I don't know. I don't know if I respect bikini chicks or not, but <laughs> at least on social media. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. I am out and about, but I'm here to tell you that I got plenty of plenty of content. Just a couple things here. I got plenty of content and plenty of footage, so I will get. I don't think I have enough to do truly all 60 days. 60, 60. Uh, I think I'm up to about day seven or so. And in the beginning, I did a really good job, I think. I think I did a really good job of doing it because I actually filmed as, like I'm talking to you right now, and I did that in the boat. And then as, as the season went on, uh, got lazy? I don't know. Not, lazy's not the word. But I stopped. Honestly and simply, I stopped doing it. So uh, some of them are going to need a little bit of a intro and an outro because I did not record that in the boat. In the world's largest duck boat so usually in february i get a slight bit of a depressed feeling i did wake up at 2 30 this morning i laid in bed till four slept in a little bit i was getting up anywhere from well day 60 i got up at like 205 i was trying to beat my alarm every day i think the last split i think maybe it went off six times uh just trying to be considerate of karen so always try to beat the alarm getting up but uh no depression because i've got plenty to do uh headed to food line first and then on over to pbhq the farm pit boss world headquarters feeling the temperature a little bit it's a raw it's only you know, 33 degrees but it's raw or at least feels raw to me so uh power electric we do have power at pbhq but everything is actually getting wired so Today would be day number two. Yeah, day number two. That red dog is in the house. So um, excited about that. Um, the pit boss, the pit boss, <laughs> the world's largest duck boat. Excuse me, I will slow down. Dirty duck coffee is flowing through me. The caffeine. <sighs> yes, okay. The world's largest duck boat. Got it all cleaned up, and truthfully, I'm sure they put salt on the roads this morning. And I really don't feel like until the roads are dry, I'm not taking it over there. But that's really, um, and truthfully, how PBHQ, Pit Boss World Headquarters, and the farm all came about. The want, the need, I mean, it could be debated whether it was needed or not, but definitely the want to have any duck boat that I've had over the years indoors. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to wait till later just because it is all cleaned up nice, and I really don't want to take any. Uh, road grime road salt and put it inside there if, if it can all be helped now during the season i can't help that but well 
and during the season I'll have water over there so no well yet so I can't really uh can't really take care of that because if I did once I got over there I'd hose her off before I put her put her in the barn so my first stop food line stock up on a few supplies um take over there and want to get want to get some organization done organizing got a lot to go through as far as the carving go I got a lot to go through anyway but specifically this morning I'm um, going to concentrate on the decoy carb all the junk that I've got there so um, almost a food line I will see you from PBHQ going past the pond and it's been so mild there's hardly a canvas back sitting on this thing there's a little pile of them over there. Actually, you know what? Hang on, hang on. As I pull in to the pool parking lot. Um, yeah, there should be, well, first off, let's see how close I can get to them. But actually, there's a nice little pile of them. A mini pile, a mini pile. But truthfully, by Christmas, I always tell people there should be at least 500, 800, pushing a thousand canvas backs on this pond. And there are probably hmm, <laughs> maybe 50. There's Karen's ugly boy. All right, let's see how close I can get to them. Come with me. All right, they are over there. We'll see how close I can get to them. But sincerely, there should be easily 500 on this pond. No questions asked. Right. Look, 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 look. See how close I can get here. We got some Canada geese. A couple of, there's Karen's ugly boy. I think he's been hanging out on this side. She doesn't get to see him on the way out in the morning. Got some birds grubbing. Nothing super crazy. Oh, there's a nice black duck. I'll stand still for a nice black duck. My uh, banded, the banded retriever friends. They found a nice uh, pintail sitting here. But I don't, I, don't, I don't see a pintail. I do see some canvas back though. Oh, somebody alerted them that I'm here. Oh, the cans are actually kicking up a little bit. I'll sneak up on them. Not many. Not many at all. Four. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 68, 66, 68, 70, excuse me, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94. It's just less than 100. Just less than 100. There may be a couple extras here that I'm not finding, but. All right. I am off the food line. That's right over there. Check off food line. Got a couple supplies. More for PBHQ versus the house, but. Got a couple, couple things, and I really need to get back on the wagon. As far as um, watching calories again, so during the season I kind of didn't care. So now is the time to care. Karen's been doing a really good job. Um, again, just with my season, didn't go crazy, but I wasn't concerned. So going to be concerned again about it now get back down I don't know see how low we can get uh, lost 52 pounds since last March Karen was down to 74 75 pounds she's maintained that I've, I'm sure I've gained a little bit I was supposed to get on the scale this morning and I didn't but I did kick back get, did kick it back off so I figured out today 
eat more like I should, and then tomorrow um, jump on the scale. But that said, uh, it is kind of like legitimately snowing now. It's still like 33. But... My question to you is, how was your duck season? Seeing a lot of birds because I would tell you, a lot of things have already left here. February 1st and just the uh, the abundance of Canada geese, which are usually everywhere here, have kind of have kind of left. Uh, one of the fields up here I'm going to go past. Yesterday they were kind of piled in there a little bit. A couple snow geese with them, but I think the swan have even kind of left. So next year, swan next year. I think I might. I did shoot mine in North Carolina, but I think I'm going to uh, apply for the Delaware permit to see. G off's coming down at the end of the month there. At the end of the month there. <laughs> See, I think this is... I'm talking to you like I talked to Karen. You should just know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Geoff is coming down. I'm not sure all who his cast of characters will be with. But I think that uh, he's going to try to apply for the Delaware Swan permit to shoot his. So. But yeah, my question is, how was your duck season? How was the duck season? And, and more of, like, did you see a lot of birds? Because just, just like the pond back there... There should be a minimal, minimal, there should be 500 of them. What do I count? Just a little bit less than 100? Man, there should be five times that, if not 10 times that, on a regular, regular year. I don't know that I've even seen ice there. I'm sure, well, when it got cold there during, I'm sorry, Karen's texting me at the same time here. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. I really should concentrate on driving. And put my seatbelt on. Um, yeah, they're really... Where am, where am I? Yes, ice. Possibly during... Right around that little uh, Christmas... Christmas little spike low. But it was windy then too, so... I don't, I'm, I'm guessing... I don't know. I'm, I don't think there was... There was any ice there. I'm wondering, cur I am curious though. So, only about seven miles away. But seven miles away from the ocean, which is still in the 40s. I wonder how much cooler PBHQ is than here. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Um, back to task and back to topic. Please, comments down below. Did you see a lot of birds this year? And and if you can, tell me what flyway you're in, or at least what state. So that'll, that'll kind of help me dial in everyone. So I'm going to make a quick phone call, answer a couple of these texts hands-free while I'm driving and next stop PBHQ Pit Boss World Headquarters and the farm but I might just I might wait here just a second to see if any more snows are up there I don't think so uh, did I forget no I gotta check with, with me too many things going through my mind all right, no snow geese. At least nothing that jumps right out at me. No. Fields aren't huge here, but there are two big fields on each side of us. And no snow geese. All right. There's Canada geese in it. Probably can't make them out, but they're over there. All right. Next stop, PBHQ. Backed in. I don't know if Red Dog was waiting on me, but they're they're sitting out there, so caught the garage door. I'm gonna let them get in. So, ooh, <laughs> she's a little cool in here now this morning. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, fire some lights up. Get this show on the road. Let's see. There we go. There we go. I guess I grabbed that other light, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, my. Good morning, good morning. Kind of cool in here, huh? Yeah. Feels about the same, just a lot better. Than uh, there you go. Okay. I, I, yeah, yesterday got a little shitty towards the end. It did. Soaking into you. 100%. Add probably like another temporary plug too. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you want to. Add a little extra power for the 
refrigerator is what he was saying. Okay. Well, honestly, that one's not going to sit there, so I don't know what to... No, temporary, temporary. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Shit, man. What, whatever you want to do. Everything's on a cord at this point. 100%. Whatever you want to do, I'm good with. <laughs> she is cool in here now this morning. Yeah. Let's, uh... That problem with that concrete slab is so sensitive. It does. Let's see what the uh, official temperature is here. Ah, 38. Oh, just, 38. Just, just 38 degrees. <laughs> oh, my. All right, I'm, I'm going to get to it. So, again, my point in some of this was, number one, I want to know, did you have a lot of waterfowl this year? Number one. Number two, what's your flyway? What's your state? And number three, how was your season? So, I do appreciate you following along. Thank you very much. I guess that's going to be my goal, work area. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but anyway, I'm headed up there. So I appreciate you following. Thank you very much. As always, thinking of you, we all.